I can remember when I was when I was a kid, I would watch the bubbles in my glass of Coca-Cola rise to the top of the surface and could see this world of bubbles. And so what, what, what I would imagine is myself being small enough to ride one of the bubbles to the top of the surface. And so in seeing that, there's this world of, of scale that you have where when you zoom into something, you experience it on a totally different uh, level. And so it's that type of wonder that I'm attempting to get out in this work. Well, you have this emotional experience, and the emotional experience is derived from the fact that each circle that I draw has a very specific intention associated with it, be it a specific thought or emotion or vibration. But each time I draw a circle, there's an intentional movement being made. And so what happens is that movement is actually read by the viewer. And they see that, they feel that. They might not necessarily know what, what it is they're seeing, but it attracts you to it in such a way that you can't very easily look away. The man Bartlett is a very meditative person. His work reflects that. Um, I, I find it to be very gentle work, very tender work, and very lovingly created work. Rarely disgust an artist's work with the public as much as I have this work. They, they want to know. They, people are just so curious about it. Across the board, people have liked his work. All different sorts of people are very drawn to the work. And I mean, he, he's sold a record number of uh, pieces. He sold 14 pieces in, during a show. For a young artist, that's astonishing. I typically use the same palette of four colors. Um, it's an antique white, a titanium buff, a cadmium red, and a raw umber. The other direction he's going in is a color direction using oil sticks. Um, and they're very cellular. They're very um, human, fleshy kinds of colors. Um, nothing unnatural, you know, no blues, no purples, no, but they're all colors that might be found in a human body, which I find them to be very organic. <laughs> 